Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we actually have two systems to do from Mad Planet Guy here. We've got a uh, before and after by the looks of the names of these systems. So um, yeah, this should be a, this should be an interesting one. Yeah, I believe we're on episode 149 of this series now. So we've got the 150 coming up next. So maybe I have to do, try and do something special for that. Try and do a big load of big load of systems in one go to do a little catch up or something. But yeah, episode 149 today. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. So his system is called the Les system here. I've got them all ready to go uh, right here. So we've got the Les system and then the Les system after extinction. So it's a before and after uh, system here. So we're going to see what uh, he has prepared for us today. Right. Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another subscribers, yeah, a subscribers um, episode. Right. Okay, this seems interesting. Okay, um, recommended settings, 30 minutes, I'm guessing we're already pretty much on that. Lighting, realistic, we're already on that. Orbits on, labels on, uh, orbits, there we go, labels on, made by Mad Planet Guy. Okay, right, this seems interesting. So what have we got here? Right. So we've got a very, very big pulsar-like object in the centre here. I mean, oh, okay. oh, no, it's not in the centre. Okay, right. Okay, this is cool. Looks like a Dyson Sphere kind of thing to me. So let's see what we've got here. All right. I've seen pictures of these objects. So that's actually before. So let's see what we've actually got in this crazy thing. All right, so here is Les, the parent star in the very, very centre here. So luminosity, we can see pretty powerful stuff 1600 suns uh size of the star i mean it's going to dwarf the sun we'll have a little comparison but yeah the sun's a lot smaller here so yeah there is the les star right onto the um which ob modded objects i should say onto these very peculiar i mean what is going on here i mean look at that looks like a gas giant texture on that thing but yeah stellar death prevention Right, so and then yeah, this looks like a Dyson sphere by the or by the um, rings there. Yeah, Dyson sphere, I'm guessing. So there is that. Right, then we've got solar B or solar system destroyer beam. So this is a New Horizons probe. Looks like it's got some sort of a. I'm guessing it's got like a gas giant texture on it because if you zoom in here, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. If we uh, lock onto it again, we'll try that again. So if we zoom in here, you can see it kind of looks like. Yeah, this kind of looks like gas giant sort of bands and stuff but on a probe so yeah there is the solar system destroyer beam right then we have mothership over here so this is one of the dice objects as we can see here so it's very large in size obviously got all the numbers on it the 12 side is this a 15 16 sided dice whatever uh, number is 17 i don't even know I, don't, I barely ever see these dice objects being used here we are so i'm guessing it's the 20 sided dice um so there it is there i mean that's uh really interesting to see that added so that's the mothership right Right, onto the first of the planets now, okay. I say planets, this one looks like a dwarf planet by its size. But if we zoom in here, God, these probes, modded probes are massive, right? So first planet, 1,000 degrees, obviously very, very small dwarf planet size. So, yeah, there is YUB2. Alrighty, so there's that guy. Right now, heading on. So the Universal Space Agency... Uh, habitat ship right look at this hey so it's a uh, third stage of saturn 5 tinted in a sort of highlighter sort of yellowy green here look at this guy oh my god that does look crazy so there is that guy it's universal space agency right so habitat ship right zooming out what have we got next okay so next up we've got this object here Woodafa. Oh, apologies if i'm saying that wrong so here it is here so it's very, very dark, as we can see as well. 600 degrees, larger in mass and radius than the Earth. Kind of reminds me of Venus in its sort of appearance. Uh, let's uh, have a look underneath atmosphere. So, yeah, very, very dark colored um, object anyway. And then, yeah, it's got a uh, sort of palish, reddish, orangey atmosphere um, on it as well. Righty. So there's Wadafar. Right now, hopping on, we have this exo image of this absolutely enormous uh, guy here. I mean, look how big it is. I mean, comparing it to the parent star, I mean, yeah, this thing is a pretty big structure. So, yeah, it looks to be like the blue one we saw earlier, but yeah, a red version of it this time. So, I mean, we'll have a little peak zoom in here. So, let's see how far. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to zoom into it. It's kind of weird when you do that, but yeah, there is the Exo Imager. Right, now we have this object here, one of the common names, uh, Salabi, or how do you say it? So, we've got this one. So, it's a. Uh, Earth-like world to an extent, 62 degrees though on the temperature, so it is a pretty uh, pretty hot object. It looks like it has some sort of modded thing going on because you can see the surface is sort of glowing 
when we rotate the planet around so it looks like it's got some sort of modding plugged into it somewhere uh, we'll check the stats on it it's very hot though so yeah life light fluid is quite low because i mean temperature 62 degrees celsius so really warm there but yeah nonetheless there is our earth-like or sort of earth-like world water world right now moving on we've got akam over here so this one appears to be quite similar it's less less temperature on this guy slightly smaller planet it's got a glowing pink surface as we can see like we saw on the previous one but yeah pink a pink version a magenta pink version of the one we saw looking very nice indeed uh, if we check the stats on this guy i'm guessing they'll be a little higher yep yeah, because we are at a uh, less temperature here so there is the planet akam done righty so zooming out next we are heading to a second mothership out here this one appears to be that marble where is it the marble object appears to be that one uh, but got a green tint going on it so there we are there it's quite large in size with a radius as well looking good nice green and black object there very nice right now moving on we have got planet leo next okay right what has he done to planet leo right okay ah i was thinking when i zoom in i was thinking it was planet leo that had the pulsar beam but no it doesn't no if we zoom in here you can see there's a pulsar there right so yeah but onto planet leo itself i believe i've seen this version of planet leo before it's got the glowing uh i want to say it's ice surface i think the surface just turns um if we uh yeah the surface turns white at night time which is really really cool so yeah I, I have seen this object before maybe in an old system i've seen a picture of it um a long way back now but yeah planet leo very large objects about jupiter in size 12.9 jupiters in mass yeah very very large big rock um right there so yeah looking very nice good old orange atmosphere with like the darker surface underneath that right uh planet leo urgent evacuation craft right look at that it looks like it's got a titan texture on it making it look like a rusty rocket which is quite cool look at that that's pretty awesome right now what is this so stay away stay away from us signal beam oh oh god what's going on here is it a black hole? oh it's a black hole okay yeah there you go I i'm guessing it's a black hole you can see it's very very glitchy when we zoom into it but i'm guessing it's a black hole very very close to planet leo so i mean i mean yeah actually that would make quite a cool fun though actually having that next to planet leo there but yes yeah, uh a pulsar on its way to destroy planet leo i'm guessing or black hole sorry i'm guessing that's going to destroy it i mean it may be a large planet but this guy is still a black hole after all maybe it has the power to uh rip the whole planet apart so right let's put those back on planet leo another urgent evacuation craft so another yeah rusty looking uh, usa rocket there right now we have a red dwarf okay so what's over here Okay, so it's a red version of the uh, rocket now. Look at that. Awesome stuff. So we've got red. Orbit stabilizer. So we've got a uh, very, very purple pyramid here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Right, so yeah, magenta purple pyramid. Hell, yeah. So there it is. Right. Look how cool the main star looks. Let's just take a moment to look at the main star as well. So we've done that all off. Look at the main star with its Dyson sphere around it. And you can see all the probe stuff as well like that is that is really awesome so there's the exo imager right and then moving on we've got uh this object over here 22 b b s a j i o o o t u p so over here it's a all ocean world as we can see here all ocean um and then 91 and 0 0.9 on its stats let's look underneath it is this the good old i wonder if this is that westeros world or not it's kind of what it reminds me of no it's just a um nice blue underneath it all there but yeah there it is yeah all ocean world so that's chilling as um yeah one of the moons of planet leo all the way out here so there it is there looking good right so now taking a jump from planet leo okay so now we're heading to this object over here hey it's the good old um neptune like objects with the dark spot sort of thing added on yeah so look at that kind of similar to the neptune uh, he gave me but yeah it's slightly different as we can see it's got some lighter bands in there but the dark spot as you can see it moves with the camera that dark spot is awesome so yeah there is um this planet here very nice shades and mixes of blue in there i have to say awesome stuff right moving on next planet out we have got another object with the dark spot uh feature on it so here it is so it's a lighter blue but yeah still got the uh, dark spot area on it that is a that's a beauty as well that world very nice indeed no moons so that one's all alone as well 
Right, where are we heading next? So next up, we've got Curio over here. So another object with a dark spot. So here we are. So this one's going with a um, more orange, whitish colours in there. I saw a little bit of light blue in the north and south poles as well. That's looking pretty awesome. I like in that. It's also got a gas moon here as well, going with some brownish shades. Let's go to uh, Realistic to Studio, just so we can see them a little lighter light. That does look really... The dark spot on that, that, that does look really, really awesome indeed. Very nice. And yeah, there it is on the main planet with light, lighting turned up. Looking good. And then we've got one more object out here. Another gas moon. So yeah, three, three gas objects all uh, packed together here. So this one's got a nice mix of uh, orange and white bands in there as well. So there is that object. Right. So heading off now, I think we've got maybe, is it one more? Okay, yes, we've got OMAP. Last planet in the system over here. But that pulsar is crazy. It looks like it's in the center, but it isn't. Like it's, it's quite uh, misleading with the way that pulsar is um, put in the system because it's such a small little object. But yeah, last planet of the system, OMAP here. So it's gray with orange. And then that's also got the uh, dark spot feature as well. And then it's got one moon or whatever. Okay, so one moon all the way over here as well. So there is um, this moon here, last object in the system. If we look at our realistic mode, very, very dark now. How far away are we from the star? About 1,800 AU roughly. Okay, so that's pretty far. So right, so let's get a lineup of the full system before we go on to the future, the apocalypse version or the after extinction version. So let's get a lineup of them all here so we can see the probes are the largest things by far. I mean, yeah, apart from the star. I mean, they're very close to being bigger than the star, but yeah, they're pretty crazy stuff. So heading all the way down here, though. Planet Leo, that's mixed in there with the um, other objects. This gas giant is the largest planet in here. We've got the mothership, then we've got the yeah, Leo, and then all of the other gas objects in here. My favourite one is definitely one of the blue ones, though, because, yeah, I do like the colour blue. So <laughs> there we go there. Onto the Rockies. I think my favourite Rockies got to be Akam here with that glowing purple. That is very nice indeed. Oh, and, yeah, just to mention as well, we are in update 23.2 for the system as well. So, yeah, got some pretty unique stuff in here you can't do in the uh, modern version of the game. So, yeah, very nice indeed. And, yeah, all the way down here, we've got all of the uh, other stuff. And then, yeah, our little black hole at the very end. So, yeah, that is the first part of the system done. So... Let's see what this uh, extinction... What's, what's in here, I wonder? Right. What have we got now? Seven billion years after the extinction of the species who controlled the system. Right, so I'm guessing all of those space probes are gone. I'm not seeing any pulsar anymore. What's happened? Right. Oh my god, that is a big mess. Planet Leo remains. Did that black hole shred it into pieces? That looks like it may have been what's happened. Right. What has happened here? Okay. Les Remnant. So it's turned into a... So this is 7 billion years after. So I'm guessing... Wait. So if I go into it again. I just want to check the... So 7 billion years, right? Okay. So I'm guessing this is in the stages of turning to a black dwarf star. It's cooling down. Still got a lot of mass. Radius is quite small. Yeah, I'd say it's probably... Yeah, on its way to becoming a black dwarf. Um, at this point, but I mean, I, I don't know how, we don't know how long an object takes to become a black dwarf, because no black dwarfs exist yet, as far as I know, so, yeah, Les Remnant, so the star completely reduced from its former self, we've got the, uh, what's left of the pyramid, the stellar, the stellar death prevention remains, this is where the Dyson Sphere was, the Dyson Sphere is completely gone, we can see there, oh, no, I say it's completely gone, if we turn all that off, you look carefully, you can see some remains of uh, little pieces in here, but it's not what it was by the looks of it. Then we've also got this one. This was the bright blue thing. Look at it now. It's not glowing anymore. It's all dark and dull. We can see it's got like a planet texture on it. Looking very battered, worn away, scorched, burnt, however you want to call it. Looking very dark and, uh, dark and spooky. If we put it on realistic mode, it goes to more orange. But yeah, there's studio. So yeah, very, very dark. Right, next object out. So we've got the remains of this planet here. So this planet actually did survive the nova of the star, I'm guessing. Unless that black hole caused everything to be destroyed, but it doesn't really say so. Yeah, the Y2B2 remains. So this was that glowing hot rocky uh, dwarf planet close to the star. Nothing left now. Just a tiny little uh, object, even smaller by the looks of it. Right, next object out. So we've got the remains of the space agency habitat. So look at this. This thing has been reduced to a scorched, scorched and burnt. Oh dear. So there it is there. So completely left as just junk in space orbiting the remains of the star. Right, next up we've got one of the other planets. We've got Wooda Fafar over here. 
really hope I'm pronouncing that right. So here it is. So this was that planet with that reddish atmosphere with that, you know, it's slightly a, like a dark orangey red surface, but now it's just an all blacked out extinct surface, all dried up lava magma, I guess. So yeah, that's all just turned to obsidian dried lava. That's all that's left there. No more atmosphere either. Next up, we've got Salby over here. This object has survived in some way or another. It has an atmosphere, so it's only one of one of uh, only one so far. So it's got an atmosphere. Only object really, uh, I guess, looking like it may. I mean, what, what did it look like before? I can't remember what it looked like before. Let's have a little quick hop back in time. So what did it look like before? So where is uh, the Salby object? So da -da, where are we? Um, over here. So this is what it looked like before. Okay, so yeah, this was the one with the water and the glowing white. So okay, so it retained its atmosphere, but it has lost everything else um, about it. So yeah, not good. Right, so let's head back in here. So we've done that one. Next up, we've got the Exo Imager remains. So this was the red one, that giant red probe. So this is all just turned to dust as well. Nothing uh, interesting here anymore. Then we got the Akam remnant. So this was one of the glow. This was the one with the glowing purple, if I remember right. So here it is, completely just left atmosphere remains, but no more glowing colours, unfortunately. So yeah, realistic mode. That's how dark and dull it's looking now. So there's the Akam remnant, right? So heading out. God, I got to say, this is really interesting. I do like looking at these uh, before and after systems. I do like it when you guys make these. These are really awesome. Right then, we have mothership debris over here. So that is something very, very dark. That was that marble object, wasn't it? So that's just completely just dull and darkened now. Right, now, planet Leo remains. What happened here? So that black hole has disappeared. Actually, where, where is it? Uh, Leo remains. Let's select the... It's going to be quite hard to select, I think. Uh, there we go. Right, planet Leo remains. So it turned... It, it was a Jupiter-sized object, and now it has returned to this. This is what it's become. Nothing left at all. Completely gone. And obviously, we can see... The whole ring, the entire ring around the star, or what's left of the star, it's a very, very dark ring, as we can see. So all of planet Leo, that's all that's left. It got shredded up by the black hole moon, I'm guessing, or black hole object around it, the pulsar thing. Shredded up, and this is all that's left. So big rest in peace to uh, planet Leo there. Orbit stabilizer, we can see that is just a uh, doled out pyramid as well now. Zooming in on it, here it is. So that's just completely doled out. The pyramid does actually look quite good in this colour scheme, actually. The dark and greyish. Yeah, it does look cool. The more the bricks obviously are looking darker than they normally would. So that's yeah, that's quite cool that actually. So orbit stabilizer ruins. Right, zooming out. So we have got the core of this uh, planet over here. So that's this is one of the gas giants, if I remember right. So yeah, so all the gas giants. Okay, so this one retained its gas. It's a lot smaller than it was before, but it retained some of its gas. Okay, Curio also retained its gas, bits of it, and then that is the last object out here. So some of the objects didn't even survive. There was definitely more gas giants than this before. It's got a ring now, so one of its moons has turned to dust. So we can see, or one, I think maybe one of the gas moons. Was this the one with the gas moons in orbit? I think it was, yeah. There was three, there was three moons around here, or two or three moons. So yeah, that is, uh, one of the moons has turned to dust, and that's now a ring. So there's Curio, the last object in here. But yeah, other than that, that is the full system done, right? This was a really interesting one. Wow, we okay. So the star, obviously nothing left. We've got all of these old pieces of equipment, which are all just ruined now. So all of the probes and stuff, obviously down here to the star. We can see the gas giant. Yeah, that was the largest planet in the system that survived. We can see the other objects didn't fare so well. A lot of them are smaller, ruined, battered compared to their former selves. We can see here all of them completely ruined to their original yeah original specifications and all the way down here the other remains of planet leo completely nothing left of that big object so yeah it turned into complete dust but yeah there we go so that is the full les system guys so let me know what you think of that down below in the comments i gotta say this was this was a good one i really enjoyed that so if we just look here as well there's the full line for all the objects all of these objects here just take a good look at them there so this was before and then if we go to extinction mode that's after so you can see the gas giants some of them retained but all the other objects completely just broken shut off all the bright colors are gone the star barely emitting light now it's very very close to just blacking out it's only got a thousand uh, k left in its temperature there so very very cold 
for a star. And yeah, definitely on the process of becoming a black dwarf by the looks of it. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. Again, a massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy for sending in this system today. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button down below in the cut as well. And the um, yeah, and also leave a comment. So yeah, see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. And also subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 18,000 subscribers as we are less than 100 subscribers away now. So let's see if we can get that. Um, before the 10th of December, we are getting really, really close, guys. So, yeah, massive thank you to everyone who has helped us on the journey uh, this far as well. And everyone who comes back to the videos as well. Huge thanks to you to all of you. And, yeah, guys, if you'd like to send in your own systems for this series, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And, yeah, you can upload your systems um, in there. And, yeah, yeah, I can um, check them out um, for videos. So, yeah, this system I did today, this was sent all the way back in August. And that's how long it's taken me to get to this point. See, so, yeah, I think episode 150, um, I'll try and throw in, like, a good 10, maybe five to ten systems and we'll do a little boost so we can catch up with the more modern systems yeah this system was made quite a while back now i mean when this system was made i was probably only on the early hundreds so yeah it's crazy how long it's taken to get to this system but yeah again a massive thank you to mad planet guy for sending this system in and yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video guys but that all that said and done i'm gonna stop rambling now and yeah guys make sure to have a good rest of your day stay safe out there and i will see you in the next video goodbye